now move on to question three. Okay. So we have temperature difference on the Rankine, Rankine scale are identical to differences on the Fahrenheit scale. Okay. So Rankine scale, we'll just say R, is equal to the difference in the Fahrenheit. So the change in Rankine is the change in Fahrenheit, is what they're saying there. So if Fahrenheit went to increase by one degree, Rankine also increases, or Rankine also increases by one degree. But absolute zero, okay, so absolute zero is known as zero Kelvin, is also equal to zero Rankine, okay? So this is what they're giving us here, okay? And we know that zero Kelvin, okay, is also known as because um, zero degrees Celsius is 273.15 Kelvin. So zero Kelvin is equal to, okay, negative 273.15 degrees Celsius, okay? And now we want to A, find relationship between TF and TR, okay? And then B, find relationship between T R and T K. Okay, so what we have here so far, all right, based on this information, is that whoops, yeah, is that zero Rankine is also equal to negative two hundred and seventy three point one five degrees Celsius. Okay. So, with that being said, how much does zero rank kind equal for Fahrenheit? That's what we're trying to find out here, okay? So, because we want to find the TF and TR, so what we're going to do here is use the um, unit converter here, hopefully it has from Celsius to Fahrenheit, and we're going to use that to convert these Celsius to Fahrenheit and see what we get. So. I think it's going to be, it's one of these that I keep my constants. Units of energy, units of pressure, grams. Oh. oh this is unfortunate. Well, nonetheless, I will keep this page. And we're just going to actually, for our sake here, oh, wait. Is this? No, this is not it here. Okay, no worries. Um, Celsius to Fahrenheit formula. There we go. And here, wow, Google's gotten really advanced. So we have zero Celsius, or I guess any Celsius, X Celsius times nine over five. So like some some degree x plus thirty two is equal to the degrees in Fahrenheit. So we're gonna get that negative two seventy three, two seventy three point one five times nine over five plus thirty two. So we have in this case zero Rankine is equal to negative. 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? And now here's a cool part. We established here that the change in rank kind of change in Fahrenheit is equal to the change in Fahrenheit. So the relationship here is that, um, I guess if we put in Y is equal to X actually, that's what we can put Y, which would be the rank kind degrees is negative four, well, we put the X first. So y degrees in Rankine is gonna be equal to x degrees in Fahrenheit 
minus 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit. This is going to be the conversion between the Rankine and Fahrenheit. Because we've established that Rankine 0 Kelvin is the same as 0 degrees uh, Rankine, but each change in Rankine is similar to the change in Fahrenheit. Hence how we got this formula. And now for the second part, find the relationship between TR and TK. Okay. So 0 Kelvin is there. It's equal to 0 Kelvin is equal to 0 Rankine. But Rankine changes like the like Celsius, I mean like Fahrenheit and um, just trying to make sure here I can explain this right. Rankine changes like Fahrenheit, but Kelvin changes like Celsius. So to get that relationship together, we're going to need to replace certain parts. So with that being said, if you want to compare these into uh, Kelvin, we have to first convert these Fahrenheit's back into Celsius. So we have now to work a step by step. Change in Rankine is equal to x degrees Fahrenheit minus 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit. And the way we change it to Celsius, we subtract 32, and then everything is multiplied by. 5 over 9, okay? So, this is how we're going to get it first to Celsius, okay? So, we have now, um, it's going to be now 459.67 minus 32 again. So, now we have negative 491. And it's going to be times 5 divided by 9, okay? So, then that's y degrees rank high is equal to just to make sure we have this here, 5 over, well, x degrees Fahrenheit times 5 over 9. Just to make sure, yep, x degrees Fahrenheit times, times 5 over 9 minus 273.15, okay? So just to make sure. Yep, we've done that. And then, well, actually, we can just do Celsius because that's now what we've converted to. We now have the Celsius, okay? And then if we want to go from Celsius to Kelvin, okay, all we have to do is just add 273.15 Kelvin. So, the y change in Rankine is going to be equal to 5 over 9 x, well, Kelvin. This would be the relationship, well, 5x over 9, just to make it a little bit different. That way we can separate those. And that would be the relationship between the Rankine and Kelvin. Okay? So, with that being said, let's see how we did. Um, exactly, we have this, and then when we broke it down, we were able to get from Fahrenheit to Rankine is going to be right here 459.67. Oh, I think I have my units backwards. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Because then so you have to now move it over there to get back to Fahrenheit. To so I did the addition backwards, but it should be plus, not minus, because zero rank height is negative 459.67. So that means zero Fahrenheit is 459.67 rank height. So that's why we have to add it there. So with that being said, this is going to be a plus. It's going to be plus 273.15. And if you want to go from Celsius to Kelvin, it's going to be, you're going to have to subtract that. Okay. And then that's how we got this. So we still end up with the 5 over 9 relationship. Okay. And as you can see here, TR divided by 1.8, which is the same thing as multiplying by 5 and dividing by 9. Okay. 
because 9 over 5 is 1.8. So this is what we have here. Oh, maybe I, oh, I got it backwards again. Interesting. So it would be Kelvin is equal to 5 over 9. Rankine temperature Rankine okay so where did we go wrong here because that one it does make more sense and it is indeed correct so okay I see now so exactly we add there but if we wanted to, it was actually the misstep was right here okay if we wanted to go from um, it's like we're subtracting the 32 which is correct but if we wanted to go from actually we have to add the 32 here exact so it'll be plus 32 okay I think I see where we're going wrong here now we have to add the 32 and multiply by 9 over 5 okay to go from Celsius to Fahrenheit which is what we were trying to do here that is an equation you have to factor in and then from there we have to then um, add well subtract 273.15 Kelvin because we're trying to go from Celsius to Kelvin, so I have to take that away, which will make these cancel out. And instead of it being 5 over 9, we have 9 over 5. I just have it flipped the other way because the Rankine is now here and the Kelvin is now there. So if we wanted to make sure that things were consistent, because I always had the Rankine there, it is still going to be 5 over 9. Whoops, sorry. It's going to be 9 over 5, 4, like that, okay? Because they have the Kelvin and the Rankine, but I have the Rankine and the Kelvin, hence why it almost looks backwards. But these two are the same thing. This is nonetheless correct. And now let's move on to the next question. Thank <laughs> you.